the box, the little box offset, you can see it. With the eight inches going into the sun. Eight inches going into the sun. Stub up going into the wall. Today we're coming with three foot of pipe. Very noisy in here, as you can see. It's such a sight, you're facing here from top. Today we're coming from this box with a three quarter pipe. Box offset underneath this beam. Going up here, eight, about eight inches, and going across there to that wall. It's a stub up. Just run wide here. Look at our measurement. Look at our measurement. So from here, I'm gonna wanna come 15 inches. But I'm like, let's say, let's say 16. Before we start going up. So 16, go 16. We have eight. Let's see how much we have to go. Listen, that set's gonna stop. I'll order another one. Then we wanna come 44 to go into the wall. So we have, what we got? So when you're doing pipe, you don't want to make a mistake. First one is 16, 8. Remember, before you do any bend, the first bend you have to do is a box offset. And you're going to a box. So to be more specific, you can start the first bend around 2 inches. I usually use 1.5, but 2 inches is not bad. See the arrow? Do our first one. Ten, ten degrees. Flip the pipe around. Make sure it's nice and straight. All right, when we're doing our next bend, what I like to do for a quick tip is to bring the pipe up to where it's still flat. You see how it's flat right now? Still flat, still flat. See how it's going up? We don't want that. We're in the first bend now. We gotta go in the second. We gotta want it where it's still flat. It's still hugging. It's hugging just right. Got it? See how it's still, still flat? So we do our back. Next 10. Make sure it's nice and straight. Then we got our first offset. Now welcome to the offset chart. For this offset chart, it does not matter for which size pipe you use. You can use any size pipe for this offset chart. If you're doing two 10 degree bends in your pipe for your offset, you have to times it by six. You have to times your number you get, the height you get by six. You're doing 22.5 times it by 2.6, 30 times two, 45 times 1.4, 60 times 1.2. So to start that, we have to do our first mark at 16. The height is 8, which means from 16, we put our first mark in the pipe. Then our next mark will be 8, since we're using 30, we times 2 equals 8 times two equals 16. So our next mark in the pipe has to be 16 inches away from the second mark. All right, let's go in the pipe and check out. our offset. We're gonna be using 30, which is times two. Our first mark is at 16, because that's where our first up kick will be. Then from there, we will need to go 16 over for the spacing to make the other bend. Let's go 16 over. This is the location we need to do our two bends to get an eight inch increase through the pipe. Okay, we have our first mark right here in the arrow. That's the 16 that was away from here, 16 up. Always wanna make sure you bend the right way. This way. Just get 
that first. 30, we're using 30. I'm gonna use the 30. It's the 30 degree bend. Got our 30, put our pipe in our next mark, which is the 16 away. Flip the pipe the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right, got it over. Uh, so you're nice and straight. Uh, okay, we're straight. Now we do another 30. We could finish it on the floor. Listen up to uh, to ruin that bubble. Yeah. Nice center bubble. I wasn't able to see on the first view. You know, some of y'all was like, nah, that was probably that was nine. It looked like nine to me. Let's see. Perfect eight inches to the bottom of the pipe. Past our 16. Pat past our eight height. Now we need 44 for the 90 going down into the middle. And then that will be going down into this one. Okay? So now, from that 16, we had marked 44, right? So let's just bring it around there. We don't gotta be too much on point because the reason why is because it's going in the wall to go anywhere in the wall. So now we've got our 44. 44 is up to right. Okay. Let's see right here. Now, Another quick tip. I know y'all like quick tips. Remember when I said this part is the six inch in the bender, right? If I bend it turning this way, it will give me my 44 mark already. But if I bend it turning this way, it will bring it six inches back. The lift up will be six inches back. So if I turn it this way, the lift up will be Our last bend, that other, we do that 90, put a 48, put that 98, that, when you do that, when you did a, a first bend next to it, like a, a 90 or something, you gotta put the next bend in the star. You don't remove six, but leave it at the 44 and put it right at this star right here. Finish our bend. Level on it. Measure it out. From the floor to this bend right here, we got 44. I put it on the floor so you can get a better view. Those of you that's like, nah, it's 46, that looks like 48. Let's get a better view. Come on, look at Ben. To right here, we got 44, so put the 44 at the start. See the box offset, you can see it. With the eight inches going into the sun. Eight inches going into the sun. Step up, going into the wall. guys watching again I'm an electrical foreman working for Q electric and this is quick tips goodbye thank you for thank you please subscribe